Hi everyone, it's Mike. I've always wanted to know how to do some action scripting, but I'm no bloody scientician. I can't figure it out. So this week we've got the help of Lee Brimelo, the Flash Evangelist from the US to help us. We've got some terrific resources. Before you know it, you will be able to not only be able to write the action script and feel the action script, you'll be able to see it as you're typing it in, the action script. Wow, it's gonna be amazing. You'll be able to learn very, very quickly. Watch this episode of Creative Suite TV. Okay, now before you get started on this particular tutorial, you need to do a couple of things. You need to go over to theflashblog.com. Theflashblog.com, here it is here, is a site that's uh, authored by Lee Brimelo. There's Lee there. Isn't he fantastic? Doesn't he look helpful? Well, he is helpful, even if he doesn't look it. He's extremely helpful, and he's got this fantastic snippets, these little code snippets, action script code snippets, and an extensions panel with installation instructions. Download the zip file, and you can, you can get to it. So go to the Flash blog, just do a quick search on there for um, extensions and snippets. You'll find this page, get into it. I'll put a link on my blog. Once you've installed it, then you get these panels over here, the snippets panel and the event generator. You wanna make sure you get the event generator. That's super helpful and we're gonna use those in a minute. Lee also, who is super awesome, has got a whole bunch of uh, tutorial videos here called gotoandlearn.com. Great learning resource for Flash as well. You can spend hours in there and you'll end up with an enormous brain that knows how to do all sorts of things. Okay, we're going to do something very, very basic because I know how afraid you are of doing action script. Well, I'm petrified, I've got to be honest, but with Lee's help, the snippets and the event generator, we can do anything. Now, I've done some drawings here with the blob brush tool in Illustrator, imported them into the into Flash. That's pretty easy. And we want to be able to click on something and make a button do something. That's all we want to do. It's all we've ever wanted to do. And it's pretty easy, really. Okay, with, with some, a little bit of help, a little bit of assistance from me. Okay, and, and Lee. We need a button. We need some sort of graphic. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll make it. We'll make a new layer here. We'll go back over to Illustrator. Why don't we? Let's just draw a star. Let's have a star. We could use some of the symbols, but let's draw a nice star, and we'll give it say an orange. Let's give it a bright yellow fill. That is going to be our star. Looks good. Grab it. Copy it. Jump to Flash paste it in. That's pretty easy. There's our star and this is where we want it. We want to select the star, we want to put it over there because that's around about where Coffs Harbour is and that's what we want. So when someone clicks on that, we want this to animate in. So we better animate it, okay? This is a just a photograph I've placed in and we want to create a motion tween so we'll right click on it, we'll say create motion tween, yes, yes, whatever create a motion tween. Now, all it puts automatically in a whole bunch of frames over here. All we need to do is just drag it to where we want it to finish up. And you can even put a little curve on it if you like to, so that when you when you drag it, yeah, it's kind of kind of going to come flying in there and zoom there. We can't see our background though, so we better add some frames in. So you just right click on them, say insert frame sorry, select the, select the correct frame, right click, insert frame, right click, insert frame. So we have our background there, looks good, and we better get our button there as well, insert frame, and insert frame. Okay, so now we're talking. If you need to adjust that a little bit, uh, which I think we do, let's just go, go ahead and move that up there. I think it could probably finish there, actually. That looks good. There we have our animation happening. Now we don't want that starting right at the start of this project, so we just might grab that whole thing, just move it one frame to the right. So there we go, we can move that one frame to the right and then that can fly in 
um, and we better just again just move these over a little bit so that we can see this all the way through so just do those there and those there looks good okay so we're all kind of getting there this button here or this this graphic here uh, that's on layer one this needs to be converted into a symbol for this to work so pretty easy uh, to do modify convert to symbol or hit f8 and we're just going to call this uh, coughs because that's a coughs harbor uh, mc for movie clip so we'll do that and we need to give it an instance name so we'll call it coughs um, underscore a so that's the first instance of that button looks good now we need to make this button do something and this is where Lee's panels come in handy we select this star and then we can choose the event generator for when something's going to happen so with the star selected we can say on click could you please generate an event for us so we could write some action script code for this but we really want this to automatically happen because we don't know how to do that so we're going to say copy this to the clipboard so we're copying this code to the clipboard we can make it a new layer here and we're going to call this actions standard kind of procedure select on frame one there we're going to bring out the actions panel <clears throat> there it is there paste and then that code that has just been generated over there gets pasted in now I didn't do any coding but what it's done is it's added an event listener to that button a mouse event click so when that button gets clicked it's going to create a function and then all we need to do really is type the function in between here so we need to go to and play from frame 2 so let's try that go to and play when it goes blue you've got that right so make a note of that and we say what do we want to play frame 2 and then at the end of that stop so that go to and play there that there is what we we have to type in so we're instructing this button what to do okay so that's that's pretty exciting isn't it we also so let's um there's there's one other thing because once we pl once we start playing this it'll automatically start playing we don't necessarily want this to automatically play because otherwise the button really won't be doing anything so we better type in a stop uh, right at right at the right at the start there we'll stop so that <clears throat> doesn't automatically play straight away let's tab our uh, actions down here I think it's a good good place to have them we do a little save on our document too and we'll call this coughs it's good and we can give it a little test so that we can click that button there it goes woohoo let's try it again so we click the button boom and down it comes so that is working we have created a button with very very little action script and if we have a look at it all we needed to do was type this stop command okay stop just stop don't do anything just stop and then go to and play frame two now once you understand a little bit more about this once you have a quick go at this you'll be able to really start coming up with some fantastic things we can then start including some code snippets uh, get onto Lee's site and you can learn more about all of these but there's a lot of actions in there ready to go and if you're like me that's just the leg up you'll need to get into learning a lot more about action script 3 and flash CS4